Hello everybody, I'm Lakshmi Dasaina and welcome back to my channel. So, this video is going to be all about texting abbreviation. So these days we receive a lot of texts and we send a lot of them too. So it's really important to understand the meaning of the text properly without misunderstandings. So these days we take our phones and text really quickly because most of the time we may not have the time. So we send it in the form of abbreviation. We may not say the whole word or the whole phrases all the time. And if we don't understand them correctly, this may lead to misunderstanding or sometimes it may feel like grammatically incorrect or it may lead to confusion. So understanding abbreviations so that we can send them and we can understand the message received is really important. So let's discuss really commonly used texting abbreviation in this video. So if you are a person who don't understand them well, this video is for you. So the first abbreviation which we are going to discuss in this video is BTW. BTW stands for by the way. By the way is basically a phrase. This phrase is used to introduce a new topic. It is used to talk about a new topic which is not connected to what was being already spoken. That is where we use BTW. For example, if we were texting about a particular topic, so in the text which is shown here, you can see that they are talking about their new school. But in between, the person suddenly remembers about a person called John. And she is asking, by the way, How's John? Is he okay? Maybe John was sick or maybe he was not well the last day. And suddenly she remembers about John. And in between the conversation, which is not related to the school, she asks, by the way, how's John? Is he okay? That is where you use by the way. Now, here we have the next abbreviation, DM. DM stands for direct message. Direct message are messages which are sent to individuals rather than post which can be visible to everyone so direct messages are individual messages which are not visible to everyone but visible just to the individual so example can we suppose you are in an online platform like a texting platform like instagram or it can be twitter where you can see these advertisements for shopping you go to the comment section and you ask the rate of the product they may respond like dm for more information so DM for more information means you have to directly send message to the individual who is selling the product. So the example is DM for more information. So here we have the third abbreviation and that is IDK. IDK, it simply stands for I don't know. If somebody asks you about something that you don't know, for example, when do we have the trip? IDK, I don't know. So that's it. It's pretty simple. So the next abbreviation is IDC, which stands for I don't care. I don't care. So if somebody is asking you if you're bothered about something, for example, are you worried about her behavior? You say IDC. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. That is what you mean by IDC. Pretty simple. Okay. So the next abbreviation is IMO. IMO stands for in my opinion. So, this is a phrase which is used to say something as your individual opinion. For example, as you can see here, is this expensive? In my opinion, 4,000 is too much. So, you are saying your personal opinion that 4,000 is too much. For another person, maybe 4,000 is not expensive. So, this is your personal opinion. That is where you use IMO, in my opinion. In my opinion, you should subscribe to my channel right now please come on subscribe to my channel before we move on to the next abbreviation here we have imho which means in my humble opinion in my humble opinion is used in cases where we are texting a person whom we really respect we have to give respect while we are giving our opinion so there is a chance when we are talking with our teacher you can say that in my humble opinion i think it's expensive I am H O. It's really expensive. In my humble opinion, it's really expensive. Now, here we have I R L. I R L basically stands for in real life. That means 
it's there in the world itself in real life so sentences for example we can say did you know that they are married in real life did you know that they're married IRL or is it possible IRL it means is it possible in real life that is where you use IRL Now we have the next abbreviation LOL LOL stands for laugh out loud if someone is sharing an experience which is really funny or someone is sending you a meme or a reel or a post which is really funny you can send a response instead of sending them a reaction or an emoji you can react with LOL which is laugh out loud that means it's really funny now what if the joke is even funnier in those cases you can use R O F L. If it, the joke is so funny, you can use R O F L. That means the joke is so funny that you are rolling on the floor laughing. Don't take it literally, but this is something that you can use to appreciate someone's joke. Someone's humor sense can be appreciated using this acronym or abbreviation R O F L. Now it is T B H. T B H means to be honest. Here you are giving your honest opinion. Maybe the opinion or the statement that you are saying may be bitter to someone, but still you have to be honest in the situation. That is where you use TBH. So the opinion can be something like, as you see here, TBH, you were kind of rude to her today. You were kind of rude to her today. The person who is hearing this, you are like, saying something to the person which may feel a bit bitter to that person but still you have to be honest the person was rude today so you can say to be honest you are a bit rude today so this brings us to the end of the video 10 really frequently used text abbreviation so next time you see one of these abbreviations in a text or a comment you do not have to go google it because you already know them so i hope this video was really helpful Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And this is going to be an encouragement for me too. So I hope this really helped. And that's all, guys. Thank you for watching the video till the end. And TTYL, which means talk to you later. This is a bonus for you. TTYL, talk to you later. Bye-bye.